This is me, desperately trying to decide how to improve my room. And this is my room. Now, if you've been around for the last couple of months, then you've probably seen my first bedroom move-in video. And so you're probably wondering, why on earth are you redoing it? You just set this bedroom up. But the reason for that is because as I live in a space, I discover different things that I think could be improved upon, made better, made more practical, made more functional. And so in today's video, I am bringing in a couple of different items that I'm really hoping will add even more beauty to this room and add more style to this room, but also just make it a little bit more practical and make it where it functions just a little bit better. So if you are here today looking for small master bedroom design ideas or beautiful attic bedroom design ideas or even ways to improve your bedroom ideas, then I really hope that the things I'm going to be sharing with you will just give you some inspiration and hopefully give you just some tips and simple tricks that will improve your bedroom and that you will enjoy the whole process of decorating and getting there. So the first tip I wanted to share with you today is actually one someone shared with me several months ago, and that is to replace your blankets with a duvet instead. And the reason for this is because if you like the look of a really nicely made bed, but you hate the process of getting there, then having a duvet to just throw over your bed rather than like a hundred different blankets, if you're like me because I'm always freezing cold at night, then a duvet is the way to go. But besides that, I also just had a lot of blankets overhanging the bed and looking really unneat. And so I did invest in a really nice duvet and also a really beautiful cover for it and I'm just so happy and pleased with it. It is so cozy warm and I'm so happy with how easy it is to make my bed. But if you don't want to spend a ton of money, you can always find a comforter or a nice duvet at the thrift store and you can just bleach it. We have tons in my family that we just bought used or that we've used for years and so it's so worth the investment. And besides that, it is also a beautiful focal point in my room now when before some of my blankets were actually a bit of an eyesore. <laughs> So besides making your whole bed making process so, so much easier, the other thing though that you can do to save a bit of money is to buy a used comforter, bleach it or clean it really well, and then buy a new cover for it. And that way you can't even tell that you have a used blanket on your bed. It looks brand new. Or you can do what I did, which I actually went out for my Mother's Day gift and bought this. That is usually when I buy my home improvement decorations because if you are all like me, my husband and I, are just not good at getting each other gifts that we want and so we usually go out and buy something for ourselves so that's typically when I get my home stuff and we both love this because we both get exactly what we wanted <laughs> Sometimes all it takes to improve a room is just to go around your house and find items, collect them, and bring them to the rooms that they tie together the best with. And so these pillows were actually down from my living room and I brought them up and replaced my living room pillows with the ones on my bed. And it just tied both my living room and my bedroom together so much better. Now, if you watched my first bedroom move-in video, which I will link in the description box below, I have this little wicker basket that I put in our room kind of to use as a nightstand. And so I didn't decide to replace that with something I'm so excited to show you today because it's so unique. But I kept the basket and I put my diffuser on it on the other side of the room because up until this point, I just had my diffuser sitting on the floor and it just doesn't look neat and it doesn't look tidy. And I really like having the option to diffuse oil all throughout our house. And so having it in a place that I'll notice that looks pretty and neat is really important to me. So there's a couple different reasons why I don't have a traditional nightstand in our room. And one of the reasons is because it kind of encourages me to store junk in the drawers, which I need no encouragement to do. Another reason is because our bedroom is just really small, so there's not a lot of room for it. But the third reason is because it's nice to be able to vacuum and not have to move a lot of furniture. So instead of getting a nightstand, I bought one of these plant hangers off of Amazon and I'm using it to store a plant. Plus, I'm also using it to be able to put my phone on it or kind of lightweight stuff beside my bed. It'll keep it from getting cluttered because it's such a small amount of space, but it is just also beautiful and I absolutely love the way it looks in here. 
Speaking of plants, a great plant to start on your own and propagate is called a pothos plant. And you probably know someone who has them. My mom has tons of them in her house. And so I just went in and cut myself some starts today and used that to add more greenery to my bedroom. I love going through, like I said, and finding different things that tie a room together really well. And so this room has a lot of green and almost a grayish green. And so I did find that in my blanket I had on my bed before this duvet that I got, it brought out a lot of those similar colors. And so I did end up putting that on my bed to kind of tie it all together. If you are looking for any more videos on decorating and minimalism and simplifying and just different ways that you can set up your home kind of for success, then I will link down below my playlist of all my simple life and simple home videos that I've created so far. If you are new here, please consider subscribing. I make new videos every single week and would love to have you join me. Thank you so much for watching this video today and have a fabulous week. I will see you in my next video and I really hope that this video just gave you a couple bedroom decorating ideas that will just benefit and bless you. So have a great week and I'll see you soon. Bye!